40 years old. <laughs> that was my first surfboard. For 58. So I started making boards. I live in this stuff, you know. That's the baby right here. Bob Olson. in here from 9 to 12 and uh, shape some boards and then I used to take it easy in the afternoon and whatever, mow the lawn, uh, watch, watch the basketball, whatever, and go swim and usual thing. Seal Beach and we take the paddle boards, we call them coop boxes, big old square rails, 15 feet long, rescue circles. They weren't even circles, they were just big boxes. And, stuff. and we used to paddle them down to a place called the River Jetty. And we'd always have to stop and empty the water out of them on the way. And then we'd run out there and surf through these little tiny waves and roll through there. And you could hear the water running down inside the board as it's filling up. Pretty soon it gets a little too much water and it starts going off one way or the other. I'm missing my friends started making foam, foam blanks. So what I did was bought a couple blanks from him. I was going to shape them. I had another friend who wanted to fiberglass them. So we went to the garage at my house where I lived and shaped these boards. But on the way to get to the garage after buying the blanks, they blew off the car and broke in half. Ugh. Not even fitting you, just the surfboard blanks like that. And so My friend said, come on over, bring your family and, and you can get a house. So I came over and I bought a house. I mean, giving them away back then. You know, it was a low income subsidized government helps you thing. So I ended up with this house and I'm still there. That was 40 years ago. I started making surfboards after I was here about eight. Maybe seven years I started making a few boards again in business. I always made a couple for myself, maybe one friend, but I didn't. I kind of quit business, quit surfing, quit surfboard business. I went sailing and worked as a carpenter and things like that. And then it just turns out I started making surfboards again. It's your soul. You can never Last year I made about 97. The year before I made 150. I made up to 300 in one year. Uh, but you know, I just, I, I, uh, I don't. I should, I guess, but I don't. Would I change my way? I'm Maui Honolulu Bay. Honolulu Bay is. a couple. Uh, that one I remember, that's at Mala Wharf. It's a pretty good size, pretty big wave for there. I never really rode super giant. The feeling, the feeling of the wave, you know, it, it, especially quicker waves, they suck up and you're in this, like in the tube, you're in this water coming over and all this movement going. And it's a charge, you get your electricity. electricity. It's fun for me. I can say it's fun. I mean, a lot of times it's really hard with work and everything, but no, it's fun. But intermixing with people, it's always nice, you know. It's nothing better than make a surfboard and you feel proud of yourself for making the board. As far as sports, did a lot of different things, but mostly surfing, <laughs> surfing and, uh, and swimming because I keep in shape for surfing. You know, I'm having trouble standing.
standing up. Oh, yeah, well, so am I, you know. Yeah. You, you get a little stiff, you don't get up quite a, you get up the way you catch the wave, then you, if you don't stand up right away, well then you drop down to the bottom, and then it's hard to stand up when you get to the bottom, best right, right at first. My plan, get up in the morning, put one foot in front of the other one and say, I'm alive, hooray, you know. Waves are measured not in height, but in increments of fear. Some place, uh, Russia and Poland, I don't know. I don't know anything about Ukraine. I really don't. <coughs>